Between COVID, the flu, and other viral Ill illnesses, school districts around the state, they are taking a hit. News 9's Felice Romero spoke to several districts today about how the surge of illnesses is impacting them. Felice. Carl, doctors are calling this the tridemic. Between the flu, RSV, and COVID-19, students and teachers are calling in sick in record numbers. Whether it's inside the classroom or the hospital. We've got about a third of our staff that were calling in sick. We've had really unprecedented levels of respiratory syncytial virus coming in through the ER. Oklahomans are feeling the toll of respiratory illnesses this season. It's okay for people to bring those masks back out if they really need their child to be in school. Smaller school districts adjusting to the shortage by going virtual. Buffalo Public Schools says they're hitting the pause button. We we just decided to go ahead and take a couple of days and see if we couldn't uh, get ahead of it. And then we're going to come back Friday uh, if everybody is well and try to finish the week. Thomas Faye Custer schools also shifting to distance learning for Wednesday. If you look at the CDC data, two weeks ago we were in like the mild moderate level and now we are in very high levels of activity of influenza. Metro districts are still learning in person. Edmond and Oklahoma City Public Schools saying they are monitoring the situation. Edmond says when it comes to closing, it happens by class, grade level, school, and then entire district. You look at, okay, can can you cover what what you have in people that are gone if I didn't have so many staff members gone we would probably go ahead and try to have school because we're so close to the end of the semester doctors say they aren't sure how long this flu season will last and it isn't too late to vaccinate your kids against the flu RSV or COVID-19 reporting live in downtown Oklahoma City Feliz Romero Oklahoma Zone News 9